Right, hello. So I'm going to talk you through the year two pathway marketing. My name's Nina Hart and I'm the course director on this course. So throughout this presentation, I'm just going to run through sort of the key aspects of the course. So the course itself is very much project based. So if you are somebody that really likes to learn through experience, and this is the course that's going to work really well for you. So it's structured around what we call live projects. And a live project is where basically you'd work with real life businesses in and around Very St Edmunds on projects that are going to um, contribute to their business as well as help you learn in a live setting. So I've got some ex um, examples throughout this presentation of, of projects we've done in the past. But basically, they work with these um, businesses um, and that is incorporated with uh, people coming in from different sectors to do talks, trips, um, just to really make that experience as live as possible for you. So there's nine units on this pathway, um, as there are on all of the diplomas. Um, I'm not going to talk you through each and every one of these units right now. Instead, I'll talk you through the projects we've done and how they link back. So if we go to the first project. Um, so this is some of the projects that we've done over the past few years. So we've got our Shops Without Windows project, which I'll talk you through. We've got a business called The Lively Crew who have come in and done some workshops. That's really beneficial because these are actual companies that are out there in the market now. Um, they have an events um, section to their business, whether we've had live talks from their director about events and the issues that can come up around events. We've had their finance director come in and give some support in terms of financial direction when you're starting up for your new business. And we've also had the marketing team come in um, to input into the content of the course. Um, then we've got the, these other three projects here with Laser Planet, Evidence Room and Charity Shop Takeover. Again, I'm going to take you through them now and how they link back to the actual course itself. So first one here, um, Evidence Room. This is a, a small business in Bury St Edmunds. You may have heard of them. They are an escape room. Um, so we approached them to run a project with them. So it was it was a really great project. The students get to go in there and actually um, carry out an experience at, at the Evidence Room itself to, to try to escape. So it really emerges them into it and sort of gets that real team building atmosphere going. Um, then to, to start off the learning, we did a market research unit. So this, this starts off with some theory, obviously, around market research, and you learn all about the different types of research that can be conducted. Um, but then with this actual project, they were able to put them skills into practice and they carried out live market research for the business. They then used that live market research to create a promotional campaign for the business because we were able to know what wasn't working quite so well for them and what was working well. With that promotional campaign, you can see on the left hand side of the screen here, you've got the um, actual winning promotional campaign that actually went live. Um, so it's got the typewriter here. So that is something the students designed themselves um, and they ran this across social media in the papers and um, three people's doors, etc. So they ran that as a, a live promotion. Um, and then the last part of that unit was supporting the business activities where they actually went out and conducted all of this um, promotional activity that was linked to the unit. So that's what we started off the year with. The next one I'm going to talk you through is um, what we called our Shops Without Windows project. So all the projects um, across the course are linked back to criteria on the course and the units. You can see down the side of the screen here, we've put down which units this particular project was linked to, and there was there's quite a few for this one. So this was a big project. They started off by coming up with an idea to run their own business. So the idea is the long term strategy was we were going to run a market stall in the centre of Bury St Edmunds. But what business were they going to run? So they came up with the ideas themselves and actually started a new business. So they went through all the stages to get through what a new business would be. So what their name was, what their logo was, the financial side of it. Um, uh, how they were going to fund it, negotiations with suppliers, accessing the stock. So literally every single part of how you'd set up a new business. And at the end of it, they had a business proposal which they could take to a bank and actually physically set up that business. Um, the next element of this was they actually needed to plan and run their event. So they needed to contact the venue. In this case, it was at the Ark in Bury St Edmunds to secure that venue to go through policies, work out actually what it is they needed to do, any issues they're going to come across, how they were going to work them through. Um, part of this, we took an inspirational trip to London. 
um, so it's a Spitalfields market and they looked at a modern day market to say what it was that modern day markets actually consist of and how they could use that inspiration to um, work into their own business. At that time, they also had a talk with the um, events manager at Spitalfields who was able to give them some really key information about how to solve issues on small and large events, um, what, what they needed to include, what they should avoid. Um, health and safety issues, legal side of things. So, you know, it's a really handy talk to have and someone that has dealt with many, many events. They then went on to run their event, but to do that, they needed to visually merchandise their stores. So to vis visually merchandising is about getting, it's the marketing side that's visual. So getting people into your shop or in this case, into their market stall itself. So it's to do with the surroundings, it's to do with the senses, so what people can see, what they can hear, um, how it's presented to them, the um, promotional activity that goes with that and drawing them into that area. Um, so as you can see some of these pictures here, we've got some pictures from the actual event itself. So they use quite quirky materials, like we've got an old suitcase here, which they sold some items in. We've got a step ladder here that they used as um, shelves. So it was a real sort of quirky feel to the whole market itself. Once they had run their market, um, they then needed to try to increase the profits of that um, so that they could uh, raise the most money essentially for for their business. Um, we had the press come down um, and it, it raised, you know, it was a really great atmosphere down there. We also worked with other areas of the college, um, people like the Conservatoire East came down who are the drama students and they did... Um, a flash dance to create a bit of atmosphere down there. Um, we also had the music students plan to come down who were going to do some live music to really create that sort of live um, atmosphere. The art students also got involved. They um, provided some of the artwork for both the promotional um, campaign, which you can see on here in, on, in the blue, but also the actual artwork for some of the things that were sold. So it was a real collaboration across the college that the students were managed to pull together and run a really successful event. Going Following on from that, they then used their images and their products to create a website to promote their actual event that they were going to run. Um, and these websites are live and can be viewed um, should you wish to. So that was a real big project that um, the students got involved in this year. Um, another example of a project we've done in the past is the with Laser Planet, which is a, um, a small independent business in Bury St Edmunds, which is a laser tag company. So similar to the sort of thing they did with the evidence room, this was a different year group, but they um, started off by market, doing the market research for it. They then created promotional activity for, in this case, a student night at the venue um, where they managed to negotiate that there'd be unlimited laser tag, free bowling, pool. Um, there was a drink, um, free drink element to it as well, some sort of meal deal. Um, so again, they created the promotional campaign for it um, and then they ran the event. Um, and again, managed to make a profit. So, you know, all of these skills that they've learned from this were very much based all around the live um, issues that would come up when you are running a, a successful event in a real business. So finally, and the last example I'm going to show you is um, where students took over some charity, charity shops. So this was all to do their project management unit. So as a project, they had to work in groups to take over various different charity shops across Bury St Edmunds. There were seven in total. So they all had different ones to run. And again, we ran it as a bit of a competition element. Who could increase the turnover of these charity shops to the most amount? Um, so each of them had their ideas, they had to work together on how they were going to do that. A large part of it was through visual merchandising, again, trying to draw people in. So using the front windows of the stores to get the customers to come in um, and all the promotional activity that went around that. But in addition, it's then transferable skills that they were able to apply that they'd learned throughout the course and perhaps hadn't realised how much that they'd taken on in that time. So it was customer service, greeting customers. It was working with other team members. It was... Um, uh, the financial elements, it was the promotional side in terms of marketing, understanding the economic climate and what could work and what couldn't work. So it really builds, um, builds on this, both the business skills that the students have learned, as well as the transferable skills that they are building on every day. So there are some examples of projects that we've been running and how they link back to the actual course content. In addition, what students have to do as part of the course is take part in work experience. 
So listed down here are just a few examples of, um, of experience that people have conducted whilst on the marketing pathway. Um, some particularly successful examples have been where students have actually gone on to be offered full time jobs. So we have one student, it's not actually listed on here, but has been working at an estate agent and has now been offered a full time position there um, as a result of their work experience and are now being put through um, estate agent exams and they are actually investing in that student. Um, but there's lots of other good examples. So you knock it races. There's a picture of some of our students here. They actually go back on a regular um, regular occasions to go and support the, the actual events that are going on at new market races so on their cv that looks really fantastic um in addition to work experience obviously people do go on to um different careers um, and this would open up a number of different um options for you as a as a um, as your next steps so obviously you could go on to um, higher education if that's what is um, was something you wanted to do and there's many programs out there available apprenticeships are also another option but the career opportunities following that could be anything around business management itself marketing clearly and that could be marketing in terms of e-retail it could be um um, solely online businesses it could be physical businesses it could be the visual merchandising side of things Buying is what my background is in. Um, so I was clothing buying, so I can bring a lot of my experience to um, the course itself from an um, industrial point of view. But buying and merchandising are, are two elements that you could move on to as part of this um, with this as behind you. Um, additional things, obviously, running events, um, in working in retail, project management. Um, and anything to do with the supply chain, which is covered within the units in this course, so how products get from the initial supply base to the shops um, and out into, into people's homes. So lots of different opportunities from this pathway. Um, lessons themselves, as I've mentioned, are very much structured around live projects. So we work with live retailers, live local retailers, should I say, um, workshops, you know, making it interesting for the students. So getting the students out um, into the industry, looking at what people are actually doing on the high street is really important part of the learning curve. So to get them creative thinking um, skills, um, really encourage them through um, making displays, doing that market research, doing them live projects. Um, so real combination there. Virtual learning is obviously going to become a bigger part of the course now as well. We've already started to do this this term and next term it will become a bigger part. So we'll do a lot of the live project work in class and then some of the more theory based things will potentially be covered through virtual um, opportunities as well, which is really key in this day and age in terms of what businesses are expecting and the skills that they need in terms to go and work for a business. So if you are interested in this pathway, obviously you will have been um, need to complete the first year of the course. Um, it gives you um, lots of different opportunities here. I am here to contact if you need any support for me and my email address is down at the bottom here. But once you've covered through your first year of the course, um, obviously we can do pathway talks to you um, and you can find out lots more information. So if you do need me, this is my information right at the bottom of the screen.